What is up, gamers? It is I, all hail buckets. Welcome to Crub. I am here with three of my lovely compatriots, my lovely co-crubbers. We are here with Kevin the Golden Bolt. Kevin, say hi. Hi. That sure was. I am here with my lycanthropic friend, Wolf K.O. San. Sean, say hi. Hi, I was hoping you were going to say the other person was lycanthropic, but okay, that works for me. <laughs> maybe one day, maybe Sean's one day like, we'll do... I mean, Trav's got Wolfman, like, uh, yeah. mullet, mullet, butt, that's, chops. That is true. Chops. Trav, and speaking of uh, the, the fourth co-crubber on this broadcast, that's right. It is the most... Boomer, the most shooter. That's <laughs> it is right. The most. A, a I was ready for you to leave it at that. A one, Mister Travis Travelton. Trav, say hi. Yeah. Oh, uh, what is lycanthropy? A it is wolf. Oh, well, that makes sense. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. A lycan means like wolf. Yeah, uh, lycan is wolf. Like you know how earth sign. You know how earth sign means bear. Yeah. 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 Lycan so, is wolf. Yeah. Okay. Interesting. Um, and the more so, you learn. and with that. Fellas, mm. what are we here to do today? We are here to talk about our comfort food uh, pieces of media, our comfort food games, comfort food, uh, music, movies, TV show, you name it. That is what we are here to talk about. So uh, let's just do a, a quick round of just one thing real quick, and one bullet point of, of why you like it. Obviously, others feel free to, to chime in at any point, but let's start with Kevin. Kevin, what is your first uh, bullet point piece of comfort food media? I have a list here. I'm going to say uh, pick a number from one to four. Uh, 14. Do we all Wait. have to? One, no, just two. two. Just Nico, pick two. Uh, Shovel oh, Knight. Okay. Trav, what about okay, you? Okay. Wait, why though? Um, Do you one one bullet as because why? you said two. Let me let me get this list okay. that I totally wrote. All right, uh, Sean, hold on. Let me yeah. get the noises there for the audio listeners. Why? Oh, well, Sean, pick a number between five and three. It, three. Oh, Mario. Which, which one? Just Mario? <laughs> which one? <laughs> What's my comfort uh, game? No. Mario. My, uh, Mario Sunshine. Oh, okay. Interesting. No, valid. Valid. Yeah. Sean, what are you? Totally messed up. Yeah, my Sean, what's calendar. what's yours, Sean? Family Guy, funny. That tracks. which one? Bucket. Uh, no, that's a that's a very good point. Wait, wait, family wait. Guy. Pre pre cancellation Family Guy or post cancellation Family Guy? Which time? They, they, yeah, they've been canceled like twice. Yeah, dude. Yeah. Both. It, yes. Cancel culture strikes again. Mm-hmm. By Seth no, MacFarlane. I, I actually agree with Sean on this one, but um, but I'm gonna say uh, the record. From Under the Cork Tree by Fall Out Boy. I know most of the words mm-hmm. of that record, and I like to sing it. Um, Valid. <laughs> Can you do it right now? Like the entire thing from beginning to Before end. Before we even dare consider that, uh, we'll briefly yeah. say what a comfort food concept is for anyone who's maybe not familiar somehow. Uh, mm-hmm. If you are unfamiliar, welcome. Uh, this is the Crubcast. Uh, we're not ever going to talk about comfort food things again, so that's, you came at the right time. Uh, comfort food is uh, what it sounds like. It's like a, that favorite type of uh, potato chip or that favorite dessert that you just you just want to calm down with after a long day. Might not work. be healthy. Might not be good for you. Yeah. Might not yeah. be a good yeah. game. Right. Might not be a good show. Might just be something right. that you watch because you watched it as a kid, because your family watched it, because you watched it with someone you loved. Uh, that no longer loves you, what, whatever it might be, <laughs> man. <laughs> something that feels something that feels like home, basically, is the way that I interpreted yeah. that, right? Yeah. Um, you know, and uh, and that's well, uh, Kevin. Would you care to tell us a little more about Shovel Knight, Kevin? About why it, yeah, why it really uh, um, Shovel it's Knight that vibe is for you? a platforming video game made by Yacht Club Games. It released on May twentieth, twenty fourteen. Uh, my my Wikipedia ran out here. Um, no uh, shovel knight is a game that i uh it predates the golden bolt in terms of being a comfort concept for me so in 2015 before i started my channel uh i had just moved back home after a brief stint at a school that messed up my financial aid uh a very expensive school that nico then finished and went into crippling debt for Uh, yeah that's true awesome and shout out to crippling debt yeah, and so I, I came back. Well, okay, and... the crippling debt part isn't true, but no, yeah, I made that up. But, <laughs> but it is—it is a very expensive school. So it is a very came, expensive school. Yeah. Home. So I came no, home. My... 
yeah. uh, didn't have a lot going for me. And I was like, you know, I'm just going to, when I like, I'm going to work, you know, getting ready to, to pay th- my way through other school at this point. And Shovel Knight was the game that I played uh, a bunch around that time. Like I played it in 2014 when it first came out. And then I played it again when the Plague Knight update came out, uh, free DLC mm-hmm. that they did because they made five whole ass games in Shovel Knight. It's kind of <laughs> disgusting how much game they gave us for at the time, $10, $15. Yeah, Plague Knight is rad. I, I like Plague Knight's character design yeah. very much. And, and, oh, yeah. And Plague Knight, around then, when he his campaign came out, the game kind of took a whole new life for me. So I went through on the Wii U and I did like every of the in-game achievements that you could do. And each campaign had their own in-game achievements. And I would just come home from work and I would like straight up just beat the game. It's the closest that I've come to a game giving me that same childhood feeling that Ratchet and Clank did in terms of coming home, sitting mm-hmm. down and just playing through it. And, uh, you know, there are some cool facets to that where like some of the challenges are like, Oh, do it in, do a run in under 90 minutes, do a run without falling into pits, do a run without checkpoints. And, uh, as far as I know, I'm not the first one to do it, but I'm the first one that yacht club said, Hey, that's pretty cool too. Uh, when I beat the game shovel only no checkpoints, no dying in under 90 minutes. Uh, it was like five different achievements all at once uh, in a combo that I just did just because. And so uh, I haven't played much of Shovel Knight since uh, Specter mm-hmm. Knight came out, actually. I didn't care for Specter Knight's campaign that much. And mm-hmm. I didn't play much of King Knight's campaign. But I know that the next Same. time that I do sit down with it, I'm going to end up playing it like 20 more times. It's just one of those things where uh, if I think of comfort food, if I think of junk food that I know I should be doing something else, uh, that's, mm-hmm. that's one of the ones that comes to mind first. Sean. Right. Oh. That's me. What about uh, you? So <laughs> I talked about Family Guy. Family Guy is just something that I really enjoyed back in the day. But, uh, let's talk about something else because Family yeah. Guy yeah. is Family yeah. Guy. Uh, so I have a comfort game and a comfort CD. Uh, my comfort CD is actually Master of Puppets by Metallica. It's the first Ooh. album I bought on my own. It's what got me into playing music, and I it is one of those albums that I can just sit down, put on, and just go. I see you raising your hand, Kevin. Hi. I just have a question. Nico, are you a Master of Puppets or a Pastor of Muppets? <laughs> I knew that's where you were going. I knew, it. I knew that's where you were going with that. Well... I mean, I think I would go Master of Puppets because, mm-hmm. uh, like, a marionette is acceptable, okay. um, whereas a Muppet is... No, but you'd be a Pastor of Muppets. So either way, you're leading yeah. them. Yeah. <laughs> if, you're, if you're a Master of Puppets, <laughs> then, you're, then, you're, I... then you're leading the puppets. <laughs> if you're a Pastor of Muppets, God. then you're leading them religiously. Well, I suppose yeah. that's means fair, because that then I could... They're going to be more ardent supporters of you. Yeah, then I could yeah. start a like a, a um like a Jonestown style <laughs> Muppet uh, <laughs> Muppet uh, you know cult. <laughs> I'm gonna end up on like the a true crime podcast. Oh. I didn't actually commit any like murders or actual crimes. <laughs> I just you like just... they see a bunch of like <laughs> Muppet <laughs> Muppets all... on the floor. <laughs> like what happened here? And there's just and I... like 37 Muppets like all around. There's like juice all over their faces for some yeah, reason. There's flavor. It smells like flavor aid so, in the room. So Sean, why not <laughs> St. Anger? Uh, actually, I really like St. Anger. Oh, damn. I also like St. Anger. I, good, I, just, good Saint take, Anger. I knew no, that was the one listen, people listen. didn't like. So I was like, let, yeah. me, let me well stir up some yeah, shit. I, it's, I'd say more load or reload people are really against, but I will say, yeah, listen, those are, listen, yeah. St. Anger is a good album, but it's not a good Metallica album. If any Correct. other band were to come out with that album, it would be much more well received. Yeah. But it, there's so much, there, there's like a weird, uh, unhinged raw play style to it that I really enjoy. Uh, but is it well produced? No. <laughs> But there's just uh, something about it. Can you tell it. me more about the music that you like, Raw? Uh, you. And speaking of you, tell me something you enjoy, Trav, right now. I'm staring at you yeah. in the eyes. Um, Sorry, I was not over being called Raw. Um, let me think. You um, are what, is, what is comfort though. food? What is no, com- um, no, like, actually, serious answer. Kind of Mario Sunshine. It's kind of oh. my go-to. Uh, that, like, obvious answer for me, if you know me. Mega Man X, Super Metroid, those are all great comfort games. Metroid mm-hmm. Prime. But like there's just something magical to me about Mario Sunshine. Like the vibe of it is unmatched. 
Nintendo's really never gone back to that. Mm-hmm. Just kidding. There's totally games that do, but like, there's just something like a childhood memory nostalgia for it. Um, yeah. When I was really young, my sister had a GameCube and Mario Sunshine on it. And I didn't even understand how save files worked back then. So I was just like, whoa, these blocks say A, B, and C. And when I go to the A oh, one, I have no. the rocket nozzle. Um, you didn't over. No, I didn't. Okay. I didn't. Okay. Up anything. I thought I was <laughs> going worry. somewhere. Anything um, else? Swear jar. No, no. Swear jar. Uh, yeah. Oh. Uh, well, it's anyway. your ad revenue for uh, the month, Trav, for your channel, <laughs> not for ours. Yo, get <laughs> my <wrecked>. channel. <laughs> Donating it to Chris to edit all this together. Get wrecked. Um, uh, that's okay. I'm making like three dollars this week anyway. Hey, Congrats, um, thank you. I, I worked hard for it. Mm-hmm. Uh, but no, like, uh, just I don't really do. Um, let, let me start over. Uh, you know that feeling that you have, like, nostalgic feeling of just walking around some kind of open hub world or something in a video game and just not even really doing any objective, just kind of vibing. Mm-hmm. Um, I have played Banjo Kazooie. I yes. don't really, I don't really get that feeling anymore. Maybe it's just how I approach games in my adult life. But like Mario Sunshine, I'll still, whenever I boot it up, I'll just walk around, just mm-hmm. see everything. It's a uh, it's a weird childhood like wonder that has not been tainted by age for me. That makes sense. And like I feel like hub worlds have kind of just gone by the wayside as gaming has progressed. And like if there are hub yeah. worlds, it's just kind of very much like, oh, just walk over here. Mario to this new Odyssey world. is nothing but hub worlds, and I thought that they were not quite as yeah. entertaining to me. And maybe that's nostalgia talk, and I don't know. But I mean that's um, weird. Mario Odyssey didn't brain. hit quite the same, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, seriously, critic brain kind of ruins everything. Yeah. Being a YouTuber was the worst mistake of my life. Uh, although, I'll, I'll <laughs> say with life. Odyssey, like it did click for me because I was one of those where it turned that off for me. Uh, okay. And any game that can turn off critic brain uh, or any piece of media where I'm not like doing any sort of inherent analysis to it, uh, yeah. that I always give credit to that because that means that it's doing a really good job of getting me sucked in that I'm not like, oh, how do they do that? Or... Uh, why did yeah. they make this choice? Or what were they yeah. thinking? Uh, speaking yeah. of, uh, Nico, you were nodding your head at a specific beat per minute, and I'm assuming it's because of Panic at the Disco's s- s- Fall Out Boy <laughs> song. F- which one? You said one of the two. I don't Panic know. at the Disco's <laughs> Fall Out Boy album. I don't know. <laughs> oh my god! Well, that's Yo, like. Did you see the? <clears throat> did you see the trailer for the new Fall Out Boy? <laughs> no, let me look it up. Dude, well, apparently Walton Goggins is in it, the new uh, the new Fallout yeah. show. I don't even. Apparently, yeah, I don't even Walton Goggins is. is in it, and I'm like, I'm like, man, I kind of want to watch it now because I like Walton Goggins quite a lot. It's but, Amazon. Um, the behind right? the scenes shots they've shared look surprisingly good. It's mm-hmm. it's yeah. Amazon, Which right? Is not a statement of quality, I but it's like, damn, so? I'm kind of interested. Because if it's Amazon, know. I'm like, I don't have faith in it. That was my thing. It's Amazon. Okay, that was that Depends. was why I was like, I don't have faith in it. They're, um, they're hit or miss, dude. They're hit or miss because Gen V is really good. The boys is really good. Um, yeah, but that's kind of like yeah, that's, yeah, that's, that's the one universe. <laughs> universe. Like, yeah, like Take anything I mean, else they've invincible, made. Like, invincible. Man in the High Castle was is the anyone other one, but they... from? Oh, Invincible actually was pretty invincible good. I have yes. not seen season two yet. Me neither. Uh, do we know if anyone working on uh, uh, the males is working on Fallout? Um, the I would assume. Oh, the males. I would assume not because this has been in production for a while. Yeah. Oh, that's true. Yeah, um, probably not. Yeah, I'm not sure. Um, anyway, Fallout. Yeah, man. either way. Yeah, anyway, Fallout Boy. So, um, dude, I learned to sing by listening to From Under the Cork Tree by Fallout Boy. Uh, really liked the sound and texture of Patrick Stump's voice. And um, I tried to emulate it. I tried to, like, sing that way, and I failed. And I sound like Panic at the Disco now when I sing. Um, and so, you know, uh, if you shoot for the moon, you'll still be amongst uh, the stars, so to speak. Um, yeah, there's very, uh, I mean, there's a lot of flaws with that record, of course. Like, I didn't turn my critic brain off of it. Like, I know what's good and what's not. And it's, you know, yeah. But it is yeah. sort of a, a progenitor in early pop punk. And it really speaks to me melodically. Um, and just tonally and, you know, a lot of the words are clever, like wordplay, mm-hmm. um, which I like in a lot of songs. And so, yeah, I, I learned to sing Is on word it. wordplay kind of like Coldplay? Yes. Yeah. Actually, well, Coldplay, Coldplay came uh, before Coldplay. Coldplay yeah. was inspired by oh. wordplay. 
Yeah. yeah. Coldplay that, is our generation's U2. So if there's um, wordplay and Coldplay, mm-hmm. does that mean that there's a Coldle? There is. <laughs> uh, however, they are both pre they are both predated by Persona Five, which created all of that. That's well yeah, Croc, then Persona <laughs> Five, then humanity. Right. Yep. Yeah. Persona yeah. five had a rough transition into three D. <laughs> yeah, followed stand. by yeah <laughs> cold play Myself. boggle uh um but yeah so that was that was that so kevin do you want to do we, do we want to start a second round here is yeah sure we'll, we'll run through uh yeah. Yeah. yeah the next comfort game i have is you subscribing to crub go to yeah. youtube.com slash at crub official subscribe to the youtube channel or else what are you doing with your do life it. uh make sure you hit the like button if you want to listen to the audio version of the podcast go to crub.org you can find it on every platform we are on the road nico we are on the road Nico. Dude, we're on the road. We're on the we're road. We're on the city. To we're becoming to- Norway's okay. number one gaming podcast. Absolutely, baby. We are. We were Shout out to 11. Norway. Shout out to Norway. We were number 11 yeah. uh, at our peak, uh, and then we fell off plus ratio, and that's just because it stopped tracking for a little <laughs> while. But I think we're back to number 11. So uh, if you know anyone in Norway, send them yeah. to the Crubcast on audio platforms and have them subscribe to the YouTube as well for the video feeds. Uh, we have exclusive content there. We also have a bunch of other content as well, as I realize that I didn't turn off the stream alert. Sorry, Chris, when you have to edit that. Um, <laughs> it's fine. Uh, we have a bunch of exclusive content over on the YouTube feed, a uh, bunch of uh, like live uh analysis of recent media you know we did uh, the futurama season 11 we we did an analysis of, of that we did uh pokemon stuff we did zelda when that came out we did spider-man as an official podcast uh you'll like all that stuff and if you like that you'll also like patreon.com slash crub where you can join the five dollar founder tier which is going away soon so uh get in to the founder tier now you get all the benefits of any future tier uh, that we have, uh, so you'll just get it for five dollars when it will become a uh, lot more probably. I I don't I don't remember what the price was, but let's just say it's going to go up forty fold. <laughs> no, it's not, <laughs> it's not, but it will go up. So if you want all the exclusive perks of yeah. uh, bonus content, uh, Nico, what's some of the bonus content you've done? I've been doing music talks with everybody. Um, you know, because when I talk about music on the show, I find that. Um, it is less than where I want it to be. And I think that exposing some of our boys to new music, uh, music that I like quite a lot, has been uh, both A, expanding everyone's musical vocabulary in terms of being able to speak about it, and B... Forte. Yes, exactly. <laughs> See, and you too can learn such musical terms as forte if you tune I like in. The, I like when the voice goes really deep, the, the Barrett's That's tones. Falsetto, yeah. <laughs> Um, oh, yeah. oh my God. yeah. So if you go to patreon.com slash crub, you can find those, uh, those discussions, which have been really fun. Uh, Mario party. We're going through every Mario party board as, as a family. Um, slowly, but surely we've had a lot as of a issues. As a family. We've oh yeah. Someone's going to get divorced. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, by, by the end, I'm of, not even married and I'm going to get divorced. By the end like, of the Mario <laughs> party, all boards run. One of us will be divorced. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. That's a fact. place your bets this on who you think took it's going to be. For one that's of us to get married, let's not bet on oh, who's going to get divorced. That doesn't feel like a good thing. We shouldn't do that. Yeah, no, it's going to no. be Justin. That doesn't. Anyway, oh, it's going to be Justin. Yeah, yeah. We don't even need to bet. That's why. Uh, <laughs> Trav, what were you going to say? Yeah, I forgot. I that's don't fair. Remember. Speaking <laughs> of forgetting, uh, yeah. the next piece of media that I like <laughs> watching as comfort food is Nico. Pick a number from one to three. Two. Wait, we already did two, didn't we? Yeah. He said he said one three. Three. Three? Uh like a dragon. Oh, incredible. The uh incredible. Yakuza franchise. Uh formerly Yakuza, now like a dragon. Uh I said Shovel Knight earlier. Um you, you happen to pick one of the other games instead of the show, so congrats, Nico. Uh yeah, that's my fault. That's on me. <laughs> Yakuza is probably and this will be uh a, a controversial take amongst my viewers, it might be my favorite series. Like straight up at this it's a point, good choice. it might straight up be like it might pass Ratchet. Like Ratchet will always be number one because you know uh, my yeah. brand is it, so I kind of have to like it now. Uh, but more legally so, mandated, but more so because uh, you know childhood <clears throat> memories and stuff. But um, yeah, I don't go back to those games much anymore, uh, just because I don't want to. <laughs> Whereas with Yakuza, <laughs> well, I also don't go back to them, but I get absorbed in those worlds, unlike yeah. anything outside of the Ratchet series or Xenoblade. 
uh, but Yakuza is more home because there's those yeah. there's those towns that you go back to again and again. You see them evolve over time. You see characters come back uh, in side quests and they make you sad and emotional or they teach you English uh, and how to get to the station. St- stuff like that. Yeah. So There's something to be yeah. said about the same world across multiple games um, and like sort of the same characters. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's um, like one answer would be lazy. It's not, but but, but if you <laughs> not think about in this it, case. it kind of is, but it's not. Not not yeah. in this case, because yeah. I would argue that everything is transformed in a way uh, that is substantive from game to game with yeah. the Yakuza they, series. They optimized for budget, essentially, and now they're yeah. one of the marquee titles. Um, like we were yeah. talking about it uh, when we did the Game Awards predictions video uh, for the podcast recently. And the fact that uh, Like a Dragon Infinite Wealth was on the most anticipated for 2024 list. Yeah, that was crazy. It's not going to beat mm-hmm. Final Fantasy, obviously. Final Fantasy is going to win. But the fact that it was there mm-hmm. is such a massive win for a series that was almost dead 10 years ago. Like, yeah. it's such a testament to the way that we now consume games and media that something like Yakuza 0 went from being, you know, maybe the swan song for the series into being this overnight... Uh, phenomenon of sorts where just gradual like twitter shares and you know youtube videos saying this game's insane Mm -hmm. and memes being shared it just hit this uh this watershed point where now it's almost as popular a series as sonic in terms of sales yeah uh not not as much anymore because sonic frontiers did very well but prior to frontiers it was doing sonic numbers uh which was insane when is the Game Awards? Because I feel like people, I feel like we've been talking December about 8th. that for like months. Yeah, like seventh. Uh, a couple. Yeah. Uh, by the time that you are watching this in the audio realm and on YouTube, it will be that day. So today. Yes. Yeah. Woo! Yeah. 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 Uh, okay. So cool. let yeah. us know who wins in the comments. We're going to actually, if you're listening to this or watching this on uh, December eighth, we're going to have a live uh, co-stream of the Game Awards, uh, hosted by Moriarty and featuring. At least some of us. I don't know who's all going to be there, but yeah. we're going to watch it together as a family. So you should also be part of that family. Family. Uh, Justin will family. get divorced by the end of that night. Uh, hey, this is Chris editing the episode. Just hopping in to say that if you're listening to this on Friday, the Game Awards were yesterday. So it already happened. I hope you were there. Yeah. Um, um, anyway, incredible. what are you going to say about Yakuza Nico? Oh, no. I was just going to say oh. like that. I could put that on my list too, to be honest with you, because I really, really thoroughly enjoy um, the Yakuza games. I mean, I think they're right up my alley for multiple reasons, but they feel like home. Kamurocho feels like home. Yeah, it, it does. Just, it straight up does. And I know, like, with eight, it seems like it's going to be the closure of the Kiryu story uh, again, finally. Uh, and <laughs> I know I'm going to sob like a baby at some point during that. Like, mm-hmm. it's just the way that they've made you care about. Not just Kiryu himself, but every character in his life, even the minor ones, to the point where you get sad when you see in um in Gaiden. I haven't played Gaiden yet because my copy hasn't arrived. But they they have um they have Bakumitai, as always. And the the person in the picture this time around is the uh, pocket racer guy from Yakuza Zero who was in Kiwami and Six. And so it's like, why is he singing about this specific guy? Uh, I don't know, but I, I, I'm still, I love that like you get sad about a character that's just the pocket bike racer or pocket car racer guy, you know? So something that Kevin was saying before was that um, Ratchet and Clank, you know, Yakuza might trump that for him in terms of, of his comfort games and his games that he is sort of goes to. Oh, I was right? saying, I was saying that Yakuza might just be my favorite at this point. Right, right. And yeah. that's, and I think for me, I've had a similar shift recently. Um, especially in my like favorites and my comfort media, they tend to be one and the same. Mm-hmm. And um, you guys know Bloodborne is one of my favorite games of all time, possibly What's my Bloodborne? favorite game of all time. It's a Souls-like game made by From Software, where From you what? Uh, where you uh, uh, smack big creatures in the butt with a sword, and um, it is Hot. incredible. But I think Sekiro might have overtaken it as my favorite game. What really? year is it? And, um, what year is this? 
it's 2023. That is fascinating I'm, to hear yeah, because I'm like a year ago. 2024 when he's like, actually, it's Armored Core and Elden Ring, actually, my favorite yeah, games of all time now. Right. Yeah. Like, actually, it's Lies of P, baby. No. Uh, yeah. No, I, I tend to flip flop a lot, but those are my two two of my like major comfort games are, are Bloodborne and, and Sekiro. And the reason that I went straight to me was just because I had that similar trajectory to Kevin where... Yeah. You know, right. Bloodborne is my favorite game. It's sort of it's sort of part of my personal brand at this point. Um, but you Show know, definitely, yeah. The tat- I don't have a Bloodborne tattoo Show yet. The tattoo. Um, yeah, I was stamp. thinking, got a tramp dude, stamp can we get matching Bloodborne. crub tattoos that yeah, just have yeah. Nico's it's, face? It's right. Oh. It's right on the tramp stamp spot. It's just the Bloodborne logo. Yeah, 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 yeah. It just says it says <laughs> just, Bloodborne just in, in Comic Sans. In Comic Sans. In Comic Sans. Um, just no, so you know yeah, I do. When he sits down. I do want to get uh, Ludwig's Holy Blade, the big one on my left forearm and the small one on my right forearm. I think that'd be pretty cool. Um, but oh, I thought you meant Lug- Ludwig, the Twitch streamer. Yes, no, that the Mario guy. Yes. Yeah, the Mario character. Oh, okay, yeah. okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, yeah, even better. But yeah, no. So that's I, you know those games feel like home to me because repetition is part of the core gameplay loop. Every single time you play it, it is the same one hundred percent. The enemy's AI basically does the same thing all the time. Uh, the enemies are always located in the same place. There's no RNG like associated with any of that. And so for me, I can just cruise right on through Bloodborne or Sekiro, to be honest with you. But Sekiro is more of a rhythm game. And so that's been like scratching that itch for me recently. And so that's those are my comfort games uh, because they make me comfortable in knowing exactly what's going to happen, and I feel like I have total control. Um, so, uh, Sean or Trav, do either of you want to go next? Go, Trav, go. Okay. Go, Trav, go. Go, Trav, go. Trav, go. He's just shuffling paper. For our audio listeners, Trav is just shuffling papers randomly. No, that's why I'm doing it into the microphone, so you don't have to say that dumb, dumb face. <laughs> swear jar. Almost you, you swear can, jar. You can say ass in the podcast. It's just the F Okay. One. Okay. Yeah, you, you All right. Call me uh, it's... Sean. Yeah. I don't care. Kevin. Yeah. Pick a number between ten and fourteen. <laughs> uh, Final <laughs> Fantasy thirteen two. So fourteen. Oh. <laughs> the good one. No, that's that's not correct. What? Um, <laughs> you you uh, told me Nico, to go. I'll I'll vamp while Trav is deciding what he wants. Nico, to talk can you about. pick a number between one and twenty two? One. Ooh, okay. Nico chose a pretty good one. Um, Mario Kart 8. There was nice. Pro- Mario again um, for one, but second off, there was probably only like two on that. Well, there were probably I'm two sorry. on that list. And it, like, <laughs> if you got to <laughs> three, you, you were like, Sean, pick a number between one and why? 400, but only why one or two. Think, why do you think I picked one? <laughs> why do you think I picked one? Yeah, no, one? That, was a, that was a great, that was a great <laughs> yeah. Mar- Mario, uh, I don't Mario know. in a car. Um, and now Mario I'm beating up think, people. Like, Dude, what's yeah, up in just, not, not video games that I, I find just comforting? There's just something about Mario driving a car that makes me uh, that <laughs> makes me want to. You can talk about Mario Kart, dude. No, no, I I'm just I'm failing to think of anything. I, nothing's comforting anymore. My back hurts. I got to go to the doctor. <laughs> are there any <laughs> show, okay. any shows that you like? Yeah, let me are there think. any shows that um, you rewatch like oh, all the time actually, or okay. movies? Real answer. Real answer. Right, uh, the it. first Iron Man. Nice. Um, nice. There's good something choice. about the first Iron Man that's really like the tone. Is it the is part just, where he gets I don't know. captured and has a fake heart? Yeah, because I'm <laughs> yeah. just like, wow, he's literally me. Um, he's he's heartless. He's in a cave with a bunch of scraps. You would like Kingdom Hearts. And, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, that, he no, just described like, Kingdom Hearts um, every game. That is. Oh my god, I'm not going down this path. I'm gonna cry. <laughs> You're gonna um, cry. <laughs> Yeah, Sean Dude. never played Kingdom Hearts. Don't listen to him. I, um, mother, but uh, you can't know prove the, that you played Kingdom I, Hearts by showing us a case. You're just like, oh, here's a game that I bought and didn't play. Yeah, I could do <laughs> that too. Look yeah. here, look. Dude, I mean, no, do you know how a, many people? I just dropped my uh, microphone on my I, pants. I got you. Check. Look I got at this. one. Look at this hard drive. Oh, this is a game that I bought and didn't play. Because it, <laughs> it's so wrapped. Kevin just yeah. pulled it. Kevin just pulled that up without even like standing it's, it's up. Been on, it's been on my yeah. desk for a while. I keep I don't have room on my my switch part of the shelf for another game. So. Uh, oh my gosh. I'm anyway, but no. Um, in have, my my have, freshman year okay. of high school, shut up. 
um, my freshman year of high school, um, I was without internet for a little bit just because we moved and some complication came up. Mm-hmm. And all I had was a stack of movies. And for some reason, it was like almost every day I would put on Iron Man 1 for that period. Just nice. like I had the movie on standby. Sure, it's comforting. I like it. I could put it on in the background. Don't even have to look at it anymore because I have the movie ingrained into my skull. Mm. And it's just like, yep, I'm happy doing that when I'm not playing Punch Out for the Wii. That was uh, nice. similar to to me in like sixth grade or fifth grade. Uh, we didn't have cable for a little bit, so I subsided on a bunch of copies of Family Guy that I then gave to Nico recently. Yeah. Uh, it was like Family oh, wait, Guy. Actually? Yeah. Yeah, like, I have them. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> when I showed him my new place, I was like, take these or I'm going to throw them at you. Uh, <laughs> did you also take John Cena the Marine? No. I'm that not is so. a Look under your soul. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. It's... Oh God! Everybody, look under no. their seat. You got a copy of the Marine. Um, but Family Guy was the same way for me uh, as it sounded like it was for you, Sean. Uh, and similar yeah. to you said, Trav, where it's just one of those. It's like the Futurama sleepers subreddit that exists, where you know you just put on the same thing over what? and over again. Yeah, you know that? that's a thing. There's, there's a there's a yeah. group of people in the world, like ten of them, that cannot sleep without having <laughs> Futurama on specifically. Yeah, that's I got, awesome. Yeah. I used uh, to, yeah I used to religiously sleep to Family Guy all the time. Like I can, yeah. it is sad that I can quote up to like season twelve of Family Guy, and I don't like it. Yeah, yeah. I used to be that way. <laughs> I, I all of that part of my memory has just been like used for something else, so a lot of that's gone. Yeah, uh, thankfully. But uh, what else about Family Guy appeals to you, Sean? Is it the fact that like you, it hasn't played Kingdom Hearts? I am going to scream <laughs> out of my mind. Ah, uh, yes. Yes, completely. No, uh, I don't know. It's just, it was, like, the first, like, show that I could sit down and watch and kind of, like, get the jokes, if that makes any sense. So, I used to watch Simpsons, and there were some things that, like, my little dumb, dumb brain was like, oh, I don't understand this. But Family Guy was very, like, juvenile. crude. Crude, juvenile. That I was like, oh, I'm starting to get this, and it would, like, make me look up other Wait, things. Wait, hold up. Donnie Most, though. Yeah, Donnie, Donnie <laughs> Most. <laughs> hold up. <laughs> Oh man, the ghost that, of Donnie Mo says subscribe to Crub. <laughs> oh, that, that is my king. That is uh, uh, for it was one of the previous episodes of the podcast. Sean mentioned Donnie Most, and during it was during the live stream yeah. version of the recording at twitch.tv slash crub underscore official. Mm-hmm. Uh, he said that, and I was recording gameplay for my Wonder Book video. So I'm sitting yeah. at the other side of my room with my monitors turned around, playing with a with a friggin' uh, AR book, and I heard him say Donnie Most. <laughs> And everyone was confused, and I had to pull well, up no. my phone mid-recording yeah. and say, that's Family Guy. <laughs> well, but that's I know for a Sean... fact that Sean took that from Family Guy. I did, but th- yeah. But Sean it, said it Donnie to... Motes. Sean said Donnie yeah. Motes. Yeah. Yeah. And we so were all like, who? <laughs> yeah, and everyone just, like, stopped what they were doing, like, who the who is Donnie Motes? Who is this man? Uh, and I, was just, I, I had to stick to the bit. I'm not going to tell you who he is. No. Um, but yeah, no, Family Guy was always something that, like, I really enjoyed. Uh, even, like, whenever I would went to college and whatnot, uh, there was something that me and my friends watched. Because, like, we had simple cable TV, and it was one of the things that mm-hmm. came on at night when we weren't doing anything. Another thing that we did, uh, which is my comfort game, is we would play Skyrim all the time. Mm-hmm. And that, that to me, is, like, my cozy, you know, it's snowing outside. I just sit in front of the TV... Yeah. You hear like the background music start and you just kind of go off an adventure you just kind of uh, rim the sky a little bit yeah and it's one of those it's games that like you, main story does not matter i mean it does but it doesn't matter it's all about like traversal finding weird things to do um, the adventure it, yeah, yeah. It, that's really what it is and i can sit down i have played through that game like seven eight nine times and i can still sit down wow. and just find something fun to do in it or just try something chaotic it's definitely one of those games that like when the you know those games or songs that happen and like it's just that mood and it just hits you like ah oh, yeah and it just takes you way back to the first time you experience it, you're like wow this is this is some good nostalgia stuff macarena yeah. this. It, it's yeah. it's funny to me <laughs> um assuming you had uh, not much more to add after that. Um, no. I, I played... I gave Skyrim a chance, finally, because I dismissed it pretty early on as over... Uh, what's the term? Not overhyped. I guess overhyped. But, overrated? Um, overrated, yeah. I dismissed it. I'm like, I, I don't get it. 
I, I want to be a robot. I don't want to be a, a Nord Nordic savior. Just be um, Khajiit. Yeah, well, that too, <laughs> that helped because I, I can like claw people and I'm like, haha, coins. Um, yeah. But uh, no, like I, I finally gave it a chance last year, maybe two years ago. My sense of time isn't great. Um, and I'm like, oh, I, I, I kind of get it now. Like mm -hmm. just going out and exploring. Like I, I think I sunk like a hundred hours into it. I, mm -hmm. I didn't finish it. I don't even remember no the main story no. quests. But I mean, does it? you'll you'll say that for Starfield in a year or two. It's just that with Skyrim, yeah, it's more excused. <laughs> like that's the thing well, I mean, uh, go ahead. Starfield. I I think the main story quest hit a lot of my personal biases really well. I so I enjoyed it. Until I don't know about that, caring about but, it. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah. I was going to say the thing with uh, with Skyrim is like, <laughs> so I still have not touched Skyrim outside of some VR uh, mm -hmm. for a similar reason, but it wasn't like, oh, this is overrated. I don't want to play it as much as uh, I knew that I liked what Oblivion had put forward and I knew that I liked what Fallout 3 had put forward, but I already saw the direction they were going in changing away from an RPG, which is for the best for uh, sales pers like sales purposes. Yeah. yeah. Uh, but it wasn't the best for me. Uh, and I didn't really like the way that the uh, the the RPG systems were set up in Skyrim, alongside uh, other usual Bethesdaisms that I was like, yeah. you know, I'm good, and so I haven't put a lot of time into it. But I know that if I if I did playing it now, it would get a lot more of a pass than back when mm -hmm. it was considered yeah. the greatest game ever made. Yeah, because mm -hmm. it was the... it was up there for a while with like, oh, this is so next level, and meanwhile, it, mm -hmm. it's just Oblivion, but from this proper generation. Yeah, it, it's one fair. of those games that like you just sit down and it's just turn your brain off and go mm -hmm. and just yeah. see what's Dude, out there. Yeah. And I think well, main story, not good, but it's like this the story you get while traversing is, I think, what really drives that game it, home. The Radiant the Moment. Yeah, um, yeah. awful. The part not that awful. hooked me Somewhere. was when, like, I, I don't even know how I did it, but I ended up in one of the DLCs that put you in Morrowind. Or, or, yeah. I, no, not I Morrowind. Think Morrowind. Uh, it, everything like there's like yellow bone armor on people. Oh yeah, the um, uh, Dover King DLC. Nice. Sure, yeah, I, I believe there's like a second Dragonborn that you have to fight. Um, <clears throat> yeah, yeah, and I I got I got like genuinely immersed in that campaign. Like I thought it was really cool. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And after I was done with it, is about when I quit playing because <laughs> I'm nice. like, yeah, I I don't think it's gonna get yeah. better than that. <laughs> yeah. Uh, for well, the record, Skyrim? Trav, I, I before I before I jump to you, Nico, uh, I mentioned uh, Starfield because that way Bethesda will respond to our video, uh, since I've yeah. oh, okay. a critical review of it. Wait, a and do they have a Norway? yeah, 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 yeah. And since, now they're going to be in our DMs yeah. saying, well, "No, remember, actually, do they actually, have a Norway division? It's actually it's that, not boring. Probably not, friends. It's not actually, boring. It's, yeah. it's not boring. According yeah. to, I can hit up my Bethesda. Uh, my Bethesda rep, see what he has to say. Ask him if it's boring. Um. But yeah, just a message. Is yeah. is Starfield boring? Yo, hey man, is Starfield yeah. boring? Um, but yeah, no. So so uh, Skyrim is also responsible, if you guys recall, for one of the um, collective crub pieces of comfort media, which of course is Young Scrolls. Uh, and for those of you who have not heard about uh, Young, Young Scrolls, Scrolls, well, Young Scrolls is like the perfect mix. It's like the most agreeable thing for all of us between video game I have music. I no idea what you're talking about. Yes, you do. When when I describe <laughs> it, you'll know. Yeah. No, when I describe yes, it, you you'll do. know what I'm talking about. You will. Um, so basically, it's the perfect middle ground between video game music and music that I listen to, which tends to be not music, uh, not video game music. Not music. Yeah, not music. <laughs> yeah, it's um, not music. And it's... So before AI voices could just like replicate things, right? Um, this dude, his whole thing is that he went into Skyrim and pulled vocal tracks and just chopped up the samples and like made um, Shio Goreth and some of the other characters like say, like bar, like spit actual oh, yeah, bars yeah, that yeah, he yeah. wrote. I know what you're talking about. Yeah. And they're really good songs and they're really good bars. And it's really impressive the way that he chopped them up to be intelligible. Skyrim um, shuffle. You know, of course, the only the only problem is that Shio says maybe some questionable words that we think he shouldn't be saying. But, yeah, correct. Yeah. Um, 
but you know, yeah. you you've been warned, uh, audience. But yeah, check out Young Scrolls. Yeah. I'll I'll send them to Chris to put something in the uh, in the description for Speaking that. Of, as you were talking about that, have you seen the? Uh, his name's Morshu, right? From the Zelda yeah. TV games. Have yes. you seen that Morshu? Oh, reads the Bible. The Bible. Yeah, he reads yeah. the. I. I that and it's is all with uh, like all with voice his... splicing. Yeah, like yeah. AI, so that's yeah. that's how Same this. Go- so that actually that video might be more popular than Young Scrolls, but that is what Young Scrolls did essentially yeah. to make Shio rap over tracks. Yeah, it, it is really from like beginning to end reading the Bible. The Bible, and it's not. And there's no AI voice. There's no like. It is. Stri- it's like hours long, and it's like how did how why why did you do this? What speaking, possessed you to do this? Speaking Sorry, of comfort food things, uh, the yep. Bible. Um, <laughs> uh, Nico, do you have anything else on your list of comfort foods that you would like to toss out? Uh, I mean, I, I got some quick boys that I don't think, you know, if you guys no. want to weigh in, then go for it, which for me, it's uh, Scrubs, my favorite show possibly Great of Scrubs all time. Was the, Scrubs was the show that I was going to go with too, yeah. Yeah. yeah um, top three shows so of all time. I would also say um, What We Do in the Shadows, both the movie Ooh, and yes. the show, okay. incredibly okay. good comfort food. Um, maybe not, you know, the best in terms of like, gr- like the show is really really good don't get me wrong but it's it's pulpy it's silly but i love it um yeah i mean those call of duty zombies i don't know i I could go on for days do you guys have any ones that you just want to list yeah Uh, i mean uh oh go ahead go ahead no i was gonna throw out one which i mentioned during our pre-show again live on twitch twitch.tv slash crub underscore official we have a a pre and Mm -hmm. post show that only patrons can see unless you're here live um I was going to say uh, the only one besides Scrubs that I didn't mention that I wrote down was uh, Cassette Beasts, which I mentioned on the pre-show. Uh, I don't think that it's a comfort food game that I'm going to go back to a ton because it is, you know, Pokemon. But there's a coziness to it that I want to shout it out because it's a game that I, I beat it sometime last week, at least a week ago. And it's been on my mind pretty much every day since. Uh and I don't really have a good reason for that. It's just pretty good. It's just very, nice. very good, very cozy. The story uh, is a lot of uh, psychology concepts worked into a, a Pokemon game, which is kind of interesting. Uh, and it's one of the few uh, isekai styled adventures that actually does an, an isekai like properly. Mm. Like it's mm-hmm. like everyone is sucked into this pocket dimension and they're all from different parallel dimensions so like nobody you nobody there is somebody you know and uh, like that's really interesting because it's like there's the way that the game does its uh interiors is like in the town if you go into an interior it starts like there are vocals and then in, when you leave the the vocals are gone once you're outside in the town and nice. all the music is like a stellar but b the vocals as much as the lyrics are like meant to be kind of corny and just about the game's plot there's something uh comforting to like that idea of like all these characters that don't know each other they're kind of confused they don't know how to get out of here but they kind of still stick together and mm-hmm. there's something warm about that yeah. and uh, i think that i enjoy rad. that yeah. so yeah. sean what were you gonna say uh i was gonna say so there's two things there's always sunny which is another show that i nice oh yeah I, me too good show me too. i love always sunny uh it's one of those shows that like i sit down and i'm like wow all my toxic traits are dennis reynolds and i just sit there and like <laughs> oh I, no sean i, I no. watch it i'm like oh i'm awful are you gonna not dennis, are you dennis. Gonna dennis system the I, podcast are you gonna just not i'm dennis. not i don't want to i don't want to bring up the dennis system no, I all of yeah. all of mine are all of mine are charlie and frank I, I sit there like, man, glue? this is, yeah, you pretty huff glue? Much. Yeah. I mean, pretty much. Although, to be, to be fair, I could I could see Nico just eating the sticker off of a pear and then complaining about eating the sticker off. Yeah, and of complaining the about the flavor. <laughs> yeah. so, man, this, <laughs> you know, the sticker doesn't really taste good today, guys. It doesn't taste like pear. <laughs> yeah. and why would they sell me a pear that has a sticker on it if I'm not that's, supposed to eat it? Yeah, that's come on. That's incredible. I could totally see that happening. Yeah. Um, there's that and uh oh my god, what was the other one? Oh god, it just it's got it's out of my mind. Uh Trav. Hi. I, I have some you... suggestions for Trav if he doesn't have any himself. 
I sure, have I'd love to hear things it. you enjoy. Well, I feel like for you, you often return to, and correct me if I'm wrong, but it'd be Ultra Kill and Doom Eternal. Mm-hmm. Um, and maybe one of the Deus Ex games. I don't know which one. I feel all like those would all sometimes. be kind of, you know, are, uh, would you consider those to be like comfort for you or are they just yeah, like absolutely. force of um, habit? I guess I've been, when trying to think of things, I've been trying to think of like stuff that's carried over from my childhood. Um, mm-hmm. So I guess as a recent example, yeah, Doom Eternal, Ultra Kill, games I didn't play until I was uh, well into adulthood. And by that, I mean 36. Yeah. Um, I mean, I didn't start liking Sekiro until this year and I listed it. So you're good. Can't yeah, no, that's fair. Um, yeah. For a while, I won't lie. I mean, Dark Souls 1 was kind of doing it for me. I would just like boot it up, kind of turn my brain off and just like fight things. And if I died, cool. I guess I could still collect some souls. Usually I go to a bar for that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, that's fair. Um, I usually don't bring swords to bars, uh, but could. you do you, man. Um, and no one's but no, stopping like, you. Doom Eternal and Ultra Kill both scratch a very similar itch. Mm-hmm. Um, I think uh, Ultra Kill is like whenever there's a big update, I come back to it for a while and then just be like, ah, oh, yeah, this is this is the vibe. But Doom Eternal, man, like I just that that game hasn't gotten content updates in like two years, and mm-hmm. I I still just will play a whole campaign. Mm-hmm. That's so yeah, nuts, just, dude. I vibe with it. Nico, I, I have a question for you. When you go into Wait, a hold bar, on, hold on. I want to hear about his nuts. What's nuts? No, I was saying that's nuts that you can just fly through Doom Eternal that easily. Oh, yeah, quickly. yeah. yeah. When, Could when, be 73 hours. When you go, when you go into a <laughs> bar, Nico, and you pull out your sword, don't you just hate when it clanks on the walls when you're trying to attack people? Yeah, dude, it happens too much. My move set oh. is too wide. Because, like, yeah. when I go into the bar, right, if you look at my shoulder, I have 46-inch shoulders. Possibly Congrats. 48. Yeah. And so if you think about, you like, the lateral motion that it takes and how most bars are long and thin, it hits the it's wall just, every time. It's, and the I worst, go, it's the worst part of the game. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Um. I assumed you were talking about going into actual bars with a sword. Yeah, I was. And You're clanking off it's the wall. It's the worst part okay, of the game. Yeah, right. Like, yeah. I, like they should they should patch that out. Yes, they um, should. You know, right by the the demon ruins, that shortcut you can take that has that big demon titanite guy with a big sword. He's like half a torso, and he goes. Ugh. Oh yeah, oh, yeah, I, yeah I, I love in, those. Yeah, that's in Chicago. Yeah. One. That that's how Chicago. I think of. Uh, that's how I go into bars. I'm like just my top, my torso, one arm, and I just like <laughs> swing a thing around. Trav starts just like crawling into bars. You know that one. <laughs> yeah. uh, you know that one Demon Souls boss where like that that whole boss area is like you running against a giant dragon shooting fire at you and you have to hide. Mm. That's yeah. me when I go into bars. Nice. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Are you the dragon god or are he's you the, the reason? The I'm player? just the torso. It depends on what I ate that day. That's fair. That's yeah. fair. <laughs> I assume yeah. if you have a, a, like something like, you know, a piece of fruit, you'd be the the or a, or a vegetable, you'd be the main character. But if you had like a thick boy special, for example, you'd probably be the dragon god. Am yeah. I wrong? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I could take um, Conor McGregor in a fight. <laughs> <laughs> Don't say that. He'll actually try. Yeah, bring him on Do the it. podcast. Yeah, let him. Yeah, actually, you know what? You know what? Actually, yeah. Let's let's start beef with Drake. Ahead, maybe he'll uh, maybe he'll again. fire what? back at me. No, um, I don't, no, we're not. Which I fight. actually we're not want. sixteen. No. Oh, we're not sixteen. Yeah, that's <laughs> right. 16. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Somebody. Uh, oh man, fellas. Speaking well, of the, speaking of sixteen, yeah. uh, we huh? are. Yeah. Well, it is that time, boys. It is that time of the week for our Patreon question of the week. I that's was, right, that's cool. and you too can have your question in the Patreon question of the week. At patreon.com slash crub official, which we have plugged ad nauseum. Sorry I, I'm, I'm for glad, that. I'm glad that we both were going to go with the same seg into the Patreon question of the week. <laughs> I was going to be like, yeah, yeah uh, for 16 insert equivalent exchange to US dollars five uh, of this currency per month. So I'm glad <laughs> glad you went there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We was, don't we yeah. don't share a brain. We don't share a brain. But at times I like to think that we have a couple uh, Venn Venn diagrams of uh, brain cells there. I only so, have one. This question, <laughs> God, yeah. this question comes from our good friend, the meme lord, the the one holding down the crub memes uh, himself. That is right, Chef Kilo. 
And the question is, and I might need some interpretation from you guys. I think this is sort of up up to interpretation, <laughs> okay. but it's power scale the oh, crub God. cast members with <laughs> special guests mini me, creepy Elliot, and Mario Party recording fails. Um, so uh, Mario Party recording fails is number one at the top of the list. Yeah, that's not easy. Easy number one. Easy us. clap. I would put Sean somewhere around number nine until he God. plays Kingdom Hearts. I, I, Ooh, I'm going to seriously <laughs> stab you. I'm going to Man. go inside your home. I'm going to hit you with my keyblade. So, do we actually I, have to listen? I have a keyblade over there. You go ahead, stab me with it. Do it. It's the dare. <laughs> I bet you can't. I bet you can't. You won't. He's now walking off camera to pull out the keyblade that he bought so that people would think he's cool. Oh my god. <laughs> he wants people to think he plays Kingdom Hearts. Audio listeners, it's not even a keyblade. It's it's I mean it's a key. It's no, not it's, a blade, it's a though. keyblade. It's not sharp. I'm Sean. I was I was doing a bit. I was Sean, doing that's a bit. Not it sharp. is a keyblade. It's it not, is a keyblade. It doesn't need to be sharp. What do you mean? Oh, let me hit you yeah, with my no, key I mean, blunt force the, object. Yeah, let me hit you no, with my no, key no, no, club. No, 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 He's dude. right. It, they're just called keyblades. They've always been blunt force objects. That's why they're in Disney, because you just get a contusion. We Concussion, usually, sorry. We usually I'm, don't acknowledge chat too much during these podcasts, but shout out to the 10 Elements for saying, but the keyblade keeps hitting the side of the bar. <laughs> 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 call back. Call that's back. So good bit. That's so um, yeah, so I'm going to say, yeah, so Mario Party fails easily number one. Right, I would. Them all. I would put Elliot at number two. I think that Elliot mm. could really do some some damage here. He could. Yeah. Throw he could, but then if Trav doesn't pay him, then he drop down. Yeah. So, okay. So then that puts. We, so then it would be Trav would be above. Down. But if Elliot's beholden to Trav, that does drop him down the Did list. Did you see quite me sleepwalk to get those donuts, bro? Yeah. That's true. Well, actually, so then in that case, should we do a merger between Trav and Elliot since they are? Yeah, we're like ice That would be kind of powerful. That'd be too powerful. Yeah, too you're powerful. fusing at that point. Yeah. Look, you, better, yeah. you don't power scale fusions unless you include everyone as fusions. I, I have do not Dragon know Ball. what power scale means. Power scaling is because of Dragon Ball and people are like, oh, you're a universal level. Oh, no, this person's actually instead of a universal. They're oh. a black hole level. You know, that type oh, of thing. Oh, so do we just... So is we're it, just so ranking people by... What I had heard... What I had heard was that your power level is how many lives you can take at that current moment. I don't think that's I mean, canon. Yeah, I no. want to believe that's canon. But, that's but I don't write that. Somebody told me that. that. Over 9,000? Like, yeah, oh, somebody he killed 9,000 people at that. once. Somebody told me that. Somebody told me that. Somebody said, Ooh, well, actually, yeah, yeah like, that's what over 9,000 None of them means. are true. Yeah, no, none of that's accurate. How would that's that even good work? writing. How would, no, but how would that writing. work in the universe, though? Because the Saiyans are measuring the power level, but that would be the level of Saiyans that you can kill at once, because that's all they know. Yeah, and that's going to be more people, because... If, we're not doing this. We're yeah. not, I'm, I'm not going down the Dragon I, I didn't Ball mean thing. to make it a thing. I just thought legitimately that's what it That's a thought meant. experiment. That's I know. <laughs> how many <laughs> Saiyan <laughs> lives equals one human life? I yeah. mean that's the equivalent uh, of like how many like be like zero point five in the moment or zero point one or something. Yeah. Well, it's well, <laughs> mm, that's how actually many how many human lives equal one say in life really. So, so Mario Party's number one. Uh, mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. J Tart nine. I would say mm. he's number two, yeah. but we can't let him get cocky again. Yes. Yeah. So no. He's <laughs> number nine. He's got to be number last. <laughs> like he's whatever last. the last. He's, is. Yeah, he's last. Ground zero. Dead. Like, dead or, last. Yeah. I'd I'd even go so far as to put myself as second to last. No, no. I That's was gonna fair. say I was gonna say he's like not even last. He's like 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 ground zero level. So there's there's Justin. There's mm -hmm. like six feet of dirt, and then, and then there's you. Uh, right. Yeah. And then, yeah. Okay. And yeah, then I'll Nico's take last. But also I'll without Nico, last. We, none of us would have brand music. That's fine. That's also true. true. So My power, I, I'm the healer of the group, technically speaking. Yeah. I mean, you are the support, I guess. Yeah. Then, then Sean. <laughs> then Sean. I will kill you. Um, no, I feel like... Sean before Kingdom Hearts, and then Sean after Kingdom Hearts would be like number three. <laughs> yeah, that's fair. God. That's fair. I hate, I hate well, and Mori Moriarty is gaseous, if you recall. Yes, yeah, so he's number so two. He's, he's what? He's got a... Yeah. But that doesn't do damage. But he can... No, but he can he, assume he can take total control. Away. Yeah. Like, he can, he can displace the air with nitrogen and just make you die. Yeah, he can just suffocate you. That's true. Um, and then yeah, the rest of us so, are all in the middle. And that's where right, yeah, yeah, everyone else yeah, is, is bell curve. Matter. <laughs> middle. I'm None just, of us matter. I'm only, imagining, only the ones that matter first and I'm last. In, I'm imagining Moriarty as, like, in Korra, whenever there's a uh, circle sphere of air, 
I'm just imagining like Moriarty taking someone's breath away like that. Yeah, he does uh, that to me frequently. Yeah, I mean, and yeah, and many, many somewhere in the middle not, too. I would say I think because Minnie was mentioned specifically. Oh so yeah, Minnie. Mini, no, uh, Minnie's at the bottom of the list because then down under he's number one. Oh yeah, yeah. So okay. Yeah. So, so like it reverses. Then Justin, so he's technically then a below J Tart nine. Then a yeah. lot of dirt. But Justin is like the dirt, like Minnie, yeah. the planet, Justin, more dirt the rest of the list mm-hmm. yeah right yeah. like the the mantle layer um of the earth <laughs> just just to, just to clarify when i said m takes my breath away it's not romantic he it's the he hits me it's a um, transaction <laughs> it's transaction it's transactional breathing <laughs> you have to yeah. be bird fed air to breathe <laughs> so thanks to chef kilo for the patreon question of the week hopefully we mm-hmm. answered it to some degree of satisfaction for any of us i don't think we did we we didn't do enough mergers and acquisitions. That seems that's that's integral to the Crub brand of ranking things is mergers and acquisitions. And I think it'd be better off if we did this in like teams of three. Let's merge Justin with the dirt. Yeah. <laughs> well, so it'd be Justin, the dirt, and three Bernie Sanders is. Three. Wait. Well, why maybe three? two, but like. Okay. Because there's there's multiple Bernies. Yeah, but, but giving him three Bernies. They came free with your Xbox. That'd be weird. Yeah, I don't, yeah that's, that's fair. That's I, too much I think, Bernie. I think one of the Bernies would do it voluntarily. Shout out to the one listener that's left at this point in the audio realm. Yeah, thank you. Uh, yeah. That, once we start talking about mergers and Bernie Sanders, there's just no, there's no coming <laughs> back from that. So Yeah, that's fair. I think that's where we will call this episode of the Crubcast for today. Let us know in the comments on the YouTube sphere. Uh, what your favorite comfort food media is. Uh, I know there's a lot that we missed from Animal Crossing to The Sims to a bunch, 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 bunch more. Um, yeah. Even to shows well, like, those obviously, are, The Office, Parks and Rec. Those are like comfort, comfort, though. I think we're talking about our personal comfort ones. If we want to do another episode where we... Uh, well, if you, the audience, want to see another episode where we discuss those pieces of media, common comfort mm-hmm. food media, let us know. Well, I meant some people even say, to them, those are comfort ones. Yeah, uh, yeah, like or I love, Stardew. I love Animal Stardew, for example, one big one we didn't touch Stardew. on whatsoever. Minecraft. I was going to say Minecraft love, yeah. next. Yeah. Um, mm-hmm. Let us know in the comments on my list. what your favorites are. If you are listening in the audio realm, leave us a nice review. If you're on the YouTube sphere, leave us any sort of comment. We don't care if it's nice. Uh, yeah. Hit the like button. Uh, if you don't hit the like button, if you have watched this whole podcast and you didn't hit the like button, what is wrong with you? Yeah. Then JTART9 gets it. He. <laughs> We will, we will kill Justin. <laughs> hitting hitting the Thread. like button is hitting the like button is the most free thing you can do to make our content better in the it's future. It's that and subscribing. If every time yeah. someone hits the like button, the number of likes we get in a month, we take that and subtract it from the number of times we're going to hit yeah. Justin. Yes. Yes. Yeah. So that's true. You can help. <laughs> which isn't less than which his is pain. already an astronomically high number it is but a lot 2648 yeah. it's a lot more than that definitely more than that yeah it will take no, us that's, a couple that's of years. my number oh okay yeah oh that's just it, sean goes light man it'll take us a lot <laughs> a lot of time to get to the monthly <laughs> amount of likes so that justin is no longer being hit by us yeah so you can help put a dent in that and by doing so you help the podcast spread to uh other people like a disease uh so do that share it with your <laughs> friends especially if but they're i from, find that really you know, hard to believe <laughs> I find you really hard. You can't, Trav. You right. can't. Oh man. All right. Well, with that, for Crub, I've been Buckets. This has been Kevin the Golden Bolt. This has been Sean Wolf Kosan, and this has been Trav Travelton Guy. 